Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Lowry. Today we're going to talk about EKG tracing and why that might be important. I have uh, invested in this device, CardioMobile. This has been out for quite a while. And you uh, download the app and uh, set it up with your phone. Uh, you see on my left to uh, do tracings and you'll notice in the picture it's a small device where you put your index and middle finger both hands on the plate to establish a contact and therefore uh, have a tracing record a tracing about 30 seconds which you can upload to your doctor now why might this be important this is important for cardiac patients and patients with rhythm trouble who want to stay in close contact with their cardiologist or their regular doctor but uh, you can have symptoms that uh, would uh, suggest that you have a rhythm problem. For example, palpitations can be skip beats or irregular beats that really take your breath away at times. Uh, you can also have atrial fibrillation, which is a, ver a deviation from sinus rhythm, which is a regular rhythm which most of us are in. Atrial fibrillation can be um, uh, risk factors for strokes. Finally, you can have symptomatic bradycardia with dizziness or symptomatic tachycardia with dizziness. So this device will uh, allow the yourself and the physician to see what sort of rhythm that you're in. And it can be uploaded. So I think with that, I will um, show you how the device works. Now it's on the home page and it says to record your EKG. Uh, and it says put your fingers on the plate which I will do right now and uh, hopefully we'll get started with a rhythm now it may be a bit erratic across the screen but it should settle down I think my fingers are shaking just a little bit uh, because of the uh, the video and I don't think we'll record the whole session but while it is recording I would like to say that uh, normally a heart rate uh, is between 60 and 100. Uh, bradycardia is defined as under 60, but it can be 50 to 60 if you're on cardiac meds. A heart rate over 120 is defined, or over 100 is defined as a tachycardia, but I would say over 120 would be um, uh, abnormal uh, unless you're exercising or, or quite anxious. Um, uh, there again, it might be normal, but your physician would probably be aware of that. So I think we've shown the EKG tracing, not for everybody. Uh, this device costs about $80, but I think it's worth it if this is an area of concern. Again, thank you for listening, and uh, check out my other videos.